right, so starting yeah. off round one. Mateo immediately goes to clinch, clinch up. We know that he's very, very comfortable uh, with, with clinching. With, uh, nice speed on both of yeah. these guys. Mateo coming out with a beautiful right hand. Joel's clinch should be fairly good because I know that Jose Cruz is dominantly the clinch coach over at Chalk Sabai, and Jose is a clinch technician. Um, it's a very important part of Muay Thai. And when important. people tell me they don't like to clinch, it upsets me. It's like telling me, oh, I do MMA, but I don't know jiu-jitsu. Yeah, You know, absolutely. I mean, it is the stand-up jiu-jitsu of Muay Thai. It's, it's very, very important. It is not an inactive posture. As you can see, both guys are jockeying for position. Absolutely. When they are inactive, uh, Chris Wagner will break you up. And then big right hand lands by Joel. Joel finding, finding that right hand, finding his distance, finding his range. Nice overhand lands by um, Mateo. Mateo going for the body lock, bringing his arms up. You can see him bringing his arms up. Making the shoulders weak. Right, exactly. Ma making the shoulders weak, but also opening up the body the of um, Joel. Joel going for the cross block. Mateo lifting those knees up quickly. The plum position, right hand lands the second coming out of the clinch. Joel trying to set up his shots, landing in the clinch. Mateo coming out with heavy leather. Joel swinging for the fences. Lands a nice body shot to end that round. He knows what he's doing on the inside. But then uh, Joel Davis is no slouch either. Like I said, he come, he, uh, they have a really good clinch coach over at uh, over Chalksabai. So he might have the answers to it. One, two. And Joel's coming out with a lot of aggression here. Pushes him back. He pushes him back. And he's gotta slip. find his gotta find his range. He's gotta be a little more patient with what he's throwing and set it up. Big right hand lands by Mateo. Uh -oh. Mateo again always looking for that dominant position in the clinch. Yep. And again, nice Mate body kick Mate lands and then Mateo gets Mateo out of range. Seems to be fighting well off both sides, off both orthodox and southpaw, which makes him difficult to hit. Big hook lands there in that exchange. Mateo looking for that dominant clinch position, in plumb position, hand behind the neck. Nice one-two lands by Mateo. Mateo no. now looking for blood. Huge right hand lands, Huge right a hand. slip. Another right hand lands. He clinches up, goes for a big knee. Yeah. Another right hand lands right Mateo out of that clinch. Mateo needs to stay on the outside, not thrown in the clinch, and place those hands. Get the hands of the head. That's what's working for him now. And start chopping the leg. Nice Superman punch. He's getting standing, standing eight. eight. <laughs> Using opportunity, Drew he's Natalie taking Fuzz a look doesn't, at doesn't his agree with that standing eight count. No, nah, he he looked he looked like he, cognizant, but he, he it, it's not even about that. It's about just taking too many shots. Oh, big knee there. Mateo's accuracy is very good. You know, like yep. he, he's not really wasting a lot of shots. He, he tries to throw something that's going to uh, connect. It comes out of it. Okay, third and final round. Mateo looking for big shots here. A lot of intent on, on Mateo's shots. Very relaxed though. Nice knees landing, uh, you know, right on the outside. Oh, oh and a huge dump to the canvas. Again, he kind of understood his rhythm. That he could understood. define the fight right there. That very much could define the fight. Joel has to start really making some stuff happen if he's gonna, if he's gonna pull this one out. 
Mateo again switching from southpaw to orthodox quite easily. Using his, his footwork to step in, get in, get out. him sort of pawing his jab out to kind of see where his distance starting setting Aaron up Fisher this big Aaron Fisher calling right hand. for the leg kick. Big overhand right there too. Yeah, we haven't seen that many kicks from Mateo. Uh, yep. We've definitely seen a, a lot, lot of knees, punches. a lot of heavy punches, punches good body yeah. shot there. Another hook there. And Joel is hesitating on his shots. He's second guessing himself. Now he's taking some punishment. Yeah. You know, it, it kind of gets to your head, like you're afraid to throw something because you want to. You not. You don't want to leave yourself it's vulnerable. In the, you're in the third round at this point. You got to really throw it in. Oh well, one of the things is he has to really start setting up straight one twos. He yep. has to throw them down the pipe. He's throwing a lot of single shots, and that's not working. Not in single shots, but also loopy shots, uh, yep. which is leaning him, him vulnerable to that hook. Crowd calling for knees Last here. 10 seconds. Big right hand, another right hand. And that is it. Oh, there was, in, there was some hard ten in the end of that one. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a nice round of applause out here for both of these fighters. After three rounds of action here at the Broad Street Ballroom, we go to the judges' score totals. All three judges scored this bout identically, 30-26. All for your winner by unanimous decision. And still undefeated, Mateo Mongusto Maldonado.